Hey guys, welcome to another lesson of Pro Teaches Noob. Today I have returning with me, Ingrid. Hello. And we're getting to talk about something I've been wanting to get to for a long time. But first, right before we got started, Ingrid's been having a little bit of issues with her connection stuff, so that might be a reoccurring factor to at this lesson. All Hopefully right, not then. too much. Yeah, but yeah, are you aware of the creator Sean Gordon Murphy? Oh. The name doesn't immediately ring any bells to me. He's best known for doing Batman, White the White Knight. That's something I vaguely re recognize. Yeah, and basically beforehand he's done a whole bunch of other artwork and um, creation. Well, this one is what if it's um, other prior works, Punk Rock Jesus. The general idea is in a not too far off future, but still in the future, um, what, and what if someone, this, this big conglomerate with a lot of incredible technology, claimed they found the shroud that has Jesus' DNA on it, and they've decided, let's not just clone him, let's make a reality show out of this. Oh boy, oh boy, that sounds like an interesting premise already. Yep, but, but then situate, well, that's just the general starting point, so, but... Now, I want to make this clear. For those of you who might barely see it, it says, reading comments online from viewcomics.com. Yeah, that was the only place for me to get scans. I'm not going to pay double just to get a digital version, but I do have my own copy here, signed by the man, and drawn with a drawing by the man himself. Fair enough. Just want to make that very clear. And it's a deluxe edition, too. Hmm, interesting. Yep. So, yeah, let's get right into this, shall we? All right, then. Well, what do you think about the cover? That's really interesting. Yep. Well, yeah, we open up with this um, family just praying for grace, but then all of a sudden, someone's coming in to attack them. So um, they're, basically, they're all prepped up. They know how to fight at everything. And he t um, her, the dead father tells this young boy, Thomas, to go hide. And um, you only got two shots. God be with you. Uh, parents say they love him as they leave him in there. A bunch of shooting happens. And, well, the door's about to open. He shoots, and he thinks he shot his father. He thinks he Ooh. did. Again, he thinks he did. But, yeah, he comes running out and all that, and his uncle and runs up to you. Your mom's gone. Your dad's shot in the throat in the chest. Yours, did you shoot him? Should have been so fucking effing careless. They might have lived if it wasn't for ya. Oh, gosh. Oh, boy, the guilt tripping. And then he says, of course, like, yeah, you still hear me, brother? I'll look after your boy. I'll show him his birthright. And basically puts him out of his misery. Oh, boy. Oh, I should point out, this is all in, um, I believe, in Ireland. Hmm. Wonder so, why there. So, you no, know, if we take up about all the type of stuff that's already the infighting in Ireland alone. Ah, fair enough. So, yeah, they, um, he tries to say, like, you know, Tommy is only being just very quiet. He's like, I know it was an accident, Thomas, but it could have been avoided. Next time you'll be more prepared. I'll just put it this way before we go further. Things aren't what they seem to be. Hi. So then we see Tommy 25 years later, and he this him as a grown man. Hello? I'm still here. Okay. We yeah, get ready for the second coming. J2. So, okay. So, it's not that far in the future, but it's an alternate, uh, you know, history. Christmas 2019. I mean, just when I saw television programming couldn't get any worse, this afternoon, Office announced plans for this next reality show. This one starring the first human clone in history. Jesus Christ. You heard me correct, folks. The J2 Project is set to begin broadcasting this Christmas. Office has made a confidential deal with the Catholic Church for use of the Shroud of Turin. They have enlisted Dr. Sarah Epstein, the world's famous ge and gen geneticist and environmentalist, in their service. She first made the headlines in 2013 when she began cloning polar bears in an attempt to delay her extinction. In 2016, she won the Nobel Peace Prize for her hyper plant that fed off CO2 at accelerated rates. But her plan to pollute and, po and pollinate the Brazilian rainforest failed when a six, foot and six fast food chains filed lawsuits. Of course they did. 
You can right tell right yeah. there he's going out all sides. Yep. Of course, like, why is it taking so long to clone a human? Are we hard at a clone? No, there's nothing special about humans on a genetic level. An ear of corn has a longer DNA chain. The delay are due to controversies and illegalities. Elphys's lawyers found a legal loophole by cloning in international waters. The other challenge was to revive DNA that's been dead for so long. Through my research, I've developed new techniques to help counter the deterioration of the 2,000-year-old Christ DNA. Isn't Ophis afraid of the reaction from the Christian right? Don't you feel any moral conflict about creating a human life, let alone one who could be the son of God for the purpose of entertainment? Some people believe this was Christ Shoud, Troud. Some people don't. My role here is purely scientific. I, I like that about her. She's basically like, I'm not one way or the other. It's just like... What? It's like, huh, yeah... Yeah, also, they're holding out um, auditions for a teenage virgin female. Oh, a no. Virgin. You're kidding me. They're taking it that far. That's the way Opus wants it. We'll eject the DNA into an unfertilized egg and implant it in her uterus. So they're trying to, again, this feels like something that could happen, if you ask me. It really does, and it's kind of scary. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's the head of, um, of Opus, um, Slate. Like, you don't have a choice, Tim. Opus wants a unified look for the crew. We don't want you standing out. Is that a black joke? You were hired to network hundreds of computer systems on multi-billion dollar project. Not to fill our equal opportunity quota. Fuck off, Slate. I think the uniform looks nice. Thank you, Gwen. That's the girl who's been, um, picked to be mm. the virgin, no, the virgin mother. Most Americans see Jesus as a man of the people. It's important that viewers feel like we selected one of their own. It's show business. Opus will only answer to ratings, so they can do whatever they want. No, J2 was my idea. I personally secured everything from the land development to the four-ply toilet paper. And I didn't go to the top law school to allow those Opus jerk-offs to walk all over me. My job is in between you and the manipulative overlords at Opus. Uh, thank you, thank you, Tim. Flying usually makes me sick. See what I'm doing here, Slate? I'm helping the lady. Why? Because I'm a gentleman. You should try it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, but outside there, we see one of the more extremist religious right radicals. There, there'll be a problem throughout this all. We're the new American Christians, and we demand the immediate shutdown of this false shrine. Like, you don't scare us. We've got the real Jesus at our side. You've got a fake. Don't be afraid, friends. This is a peaceful protest. <laughs> okay, you want to know when this was written, by the way? <laughs> when? This was done in... Um. Oh, come on. Tell me when it was. 2012. Oh, wow. That was a while ago. But ten years ago, but got a peaceful protest, mm. and then bam! My name is Daisy Milton of the New American Christian. J two is an abomination under God, and we won't rest until you have one minute to leave before this gun starts going off. <clears throat> no, we're not giving up so easy. We'll not, and we will not let the forces of evil win. Damn your lack of faith! Actually, he has a lot of faith. And may I introduce Thomas McHale, security chief of J2. Where were you, Mr. McHale? Picking up more equipment for the security staff. Uh, hi, nice to meet. Stay behind me as we approach the boat. The boat of glass on the dock isn't in place yet, and I don't want some terrorist sniper in a canoe getting lucky. Something wrong, doctor? So yeah, basically then we're being shown like, oh yeah, I can't believe I'm getting knocked up on a boat with people watching. This is so not sexy. Don't fight the medication, Gwen. Focus on something else. Um, here, want to see a picture of the baby? This software can formulate a model of what the baby will look like. That's 98% accurate. And this is him when he's born. Uh, aw, but you can still tell Gwen's being manipulated. Mm hmm I know. Like, sure. Uh, can you make him older? Sure. But the older you make him, the less accurate the program will be. This is him at one year. This is him at two. Is this him as a teenager? I'm not sure about the brown eyes, doctor. Can we make them blue? 
I didn't develop this technology to create designer babies. I know, but Opus is going to want the clone to match something out of a children's Bible. Light skin and blue eyes. But Jesus Christ was Middle Eastern. Without that genetic trait, come on, you've already adjusted the, clone, the DNA so the clone won't have things down, uh, like Down and Turner syndrome, right? Is it really a big deal to make his eyes blue? Disease are one thing. Making him look like a member of a boy band is another. The only way to change it now is to add sequences and adjust thorough mutation. We could permanently damage him. Opus owns your research and your entire lab, Doctor. I'm asking you, please, change the effing eyes. And the doctor's looking up a bit about Thomas with this, um, oh, look at that polar bear. Aw, isn't he cute? Aw. I know who you are, Mr. McHale. Who am I then? You're a terrorist with the Irish Republican Army. It was around 15 years ago. I and was in Belfast doing research on global warming. Your face was in all the papers. They arrested you for a car bombing that killed three policemen and a little girl in a pink jacket. I've never forgot it because at the time, my husband and I just lost our baby during my last trimester. We already painted the nursery pink. Didn't know you were married. We div he divorced me when we found out I couldn't carry a baby to term. What's in it Ooh. for him? I know. Was, was it, and was it, uh, was it, uh, was it, what is it you want? I want you to leave J2 before I report you to Slate. Tell him right now. Tell me what? And tell me what? Do you have any idea who this man is? He's an IRA terrorist responsible for the deaths of who knows how many people. Ex-IRA doctor, his previous life. This man kills small children, and he's done prison time to make up for it. Uh, how can, and, but basically, it's so clear, of course, he regretted that. That's why he turned himself in. Mm-hmm. He had trained with the Arab factions in Libyan deserts during his time in the IRA. Believe and your IRA, does that ring any more bells? Hmm. And by the way, this guy, um, the guy who plays uh, the, the, um, the design for Slate, yeah, J Sean Gordon Murphy has said he based him off of Aaron Eccleston. Uh, do you remember the Batman? Or the, Dark, the, Dark, the Dark Knight. Yeah. He was um, Harvey Dent. Ooh. They were basing him more off of his character from Thank You for Not Smoking. Ah. The guy who basically his whole job was to sell you cigarettes, even though it's not good for you, but it's his job to do it. That's Ooh. what he was going for was this. It's actually a good movie. Ah, interesting. But yeah, obviously she's not liking about it. I believe in science. His religious convictions make him a risk. Feeling guilty for murder, are we? You think protecting Jesus number two will forgive you of your sins? Actually, yes, he does. He doesn't say it till later, but he actually does. Mm-hmm. Um, like, if he's not fired, then I'll quit. Then quit. We own your research, the lab, and the copyrights to your cloning procedures. You'll lose 10 years rebuilding it. By then, it'll be too late for it to save your planet with your magic algae. Ouch! Oof. You hate this guy, don't you? Yep, ass hat. You even gonna you even gonna bother to like Gwen and the no Gwen? She doesn't have a lot of friends here, you know. I wasn't hired to be her friend or yours. Jesus, Jesus, dude, you need to lighten up. You sound like Robocop. Here, brought you some coffee. Also made you a mug. 1939 Indian Scout, like the one you're working on in the garage. It's a gift, Thomas. I wanted this conversation to start on a positive note. Because what I'm going to say next is a little more difficult. I'm not afraid of you, man. Slate assigned me to be your technical assistant. So that's what I'm going to do. You keep acting like a fucking Terminator hanging in the back cave while refusing to make friends. That's fine. You can be an asshole to everyone else, but not me. From now on, we're a team. So start talking to me. You, you can start by thanking me for the fucking bug. And then start thinking about Gwen. I like him! Yeah! So, yeah, we see a bunch of these other, you know, people, you know, a bunch of, again, the typical, typical news media stuff. Um, let's start with Dr. Clock, evolutionary scientist and outspoken atheist. How would you describe the reaction of the scientific community to J2? It's a load of bunk. There's never been any evidence that the shroud is an, as old as Christians would like to believe, and carbon dating has proven that. Most important here is no one outside of Opus has been able allowed to verify the validity of the DNA. Blasphemy! Carbon dating is flawed! The shroud is real, and that proved Jesus was too! Is what Father Sterling says true? 
There's no disputing carbon data. And there's never been any empirical evidence that a person named Jesus Christ ever existed. You, how dare you? Scientists are not to be trusted. Oh, God. Mm. And just like a typical, just a typical thing for a news media L to get on two extremists, right? Yep. The people that Ever? say Jesus didn't exist, which is one extremist view, and then just getting into oh, like, a lot of anti nonsense. I love this. Evolution is just a theory. So is gravity. Ouch! And you can see Gwen is obviously making a whole bunch of craving foods. There's going to be yep. a lot of time skips that you're going to only have to use the visuals to realize how much. Uh -huh. You get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying there? Yeah. Oh, look at this. It's a diner set. Funny. <laughs> like non-believers like you are going to have a lot to answer for when he arrived. So you see this at a second coming? Of course, and it makes perfect sense that Jesus would choose to come to America. God bless the nation over all others. That's why he's on our money. You're a moron. Yeah, they got an idiot. I'm a pastor. And not only that, though, but uh, did I remind people? It said, and what's in the Bible say that Jesus would return as he left it? Mm hmm. Meaning a man, not a baby. Yep. So this pastor doesn't even know his own Bible. Yep, it's. Whenever I hear people say, oh, yeah, that's the second coming, and they think it's going to be a baby, it's like, no, you idiot! No, you didn't read the damn book at all, did you? Now that now the Antichrist, oh yeah, I can believe that as a baby. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But not the and actual. Even then, a lot of the stuff is not necessarily as glamorous as a lot of the whole like apocalyptic, apocalyptic legend yeah. that's built up around it. It is. It's just literally anyone who's against Jesus. It's not necessarily some like Satan spawn or something. It's like the truth exactly. is oftentimes a lot less sensational than people would like it to believe. Exactly. It's like it's a whole idea. And I don't know. Have you ever seen the movie Dogma by Kevin Smith? I have not. Well, there's a point in there where he actually has a guy who does who's Lu it's Lucifer wants to get out of he uh, hell. You know why? Because as he puts it, beforehand, hell used to just be the absence of God. That was it. But then so many of the self-righteous, self-deprecating type of individuals came to hell and wanted to be tortured for their sins. So it eventually became the hellscape we know it as. And he was fed up with it. Uh-huh. And I'm like, oh my god, that's brilliant if you look at it that way, right? Yeah, meanwhile, another one of my depictions is from C.S. Lewis's book, The Great Divorce, where it's just like, hell is locked from the inside. They could leave any time they want, in theory, but they just are so stuck in their ways that they choose not to. Exactly, and I'm always of the belief of hell is your own personal hell device for you, that what you feel you deserve. That's what I've looked at hell as. Hmm. Now, same way with heaven. It's your own personal heaven. Do you want to believe that all these great people are up there? You'll be provided that. Does that mean they're actually up there? One, who, and who can say? Hmm. You know I mean? But we're sidetracking a bit. Right, right. But of course, it's Christmas. It's Christmas Eve. The fact again, how very um, capitalistic of it, right? Mm-hmm. Of course, she's already panicking, feeling like she's going to be a bad mother. What if this reality show shoot, ruins his life? But of course, no one else is hearing it. And yeah, the whole world is celebrating as she gives birth right on time. Mm. But then everyone then leaves and she passes out. Because it turns out somehow there was a twin. Oh, that's a twist. Yep. And um, so the two in secret has everything cut out. They make the foot, the, foot, um, the footage is running right now, fake footage, a CGI um, of Gwen holding her new baby while they have deliver the twin, and they're keeping it secret and everything. You think she suspects anything? No one knows about um, but you and me. And the sedative is untraceable; it won't show up on any tests. So what are you going to do for her? Well, I found a foster home where she'll be safe. Just put her in here. Do you trust this guy? Ugh, he's so slimy. But of course, then wakes up and everyone's like, oh, and it's, what's his name going to be? Chris. His name's going to be Chris. 
I mean, hey, it's close enough to Christ. But yeah, um, what does Slate do? I know, I don't like the rain either. Almost over. One injection and dumps her in the water. Oh, that is horrible. And in case that doesn't work, and um, the doctor saw everything. Yep. Uh, oh, yeah, look at the back on um, Thomas. Uh, you can already tell that what kind of those are those type of markings because he feels like he deserves it. Mm hmm. Of course, it's now a year later. Uh, no, it's been a, six months later, sorry. June 2020. I, one, two, three, four, like Gwen Fairling out the door. Five, six, seven, eight. Your Jesus clone is just a fake. <laughs> so, yeah, of course, it's, you know, like, they won't stop. I mean, can you, uh, boy, are you surprised by this? I'm really not. It feels like if this is like exactly what would happen if somebody had to do something just like this. Exactly, exactly. And especially given how things have been recently, which is only two years off from this book. Mm-hmm. It's just but like what did he do? missing the entire point. Yep, of course. What is, um, what, 9, 9, 10, 11, 12. Satan take J2 to hell. Oh, but look what Thomas does. Kind of extreme, don't you think? Ugh. Right, and, but there she is again. Um, we're messengers of the Lord. Nothing can stop the NAC. Nothing, uh, nothing will stand in our, um, and she grabs him, and her, and he grabs her and pulls her down. Damn, dude, you're like Moby Dick. Moby Dick was the whale. I'm Ahab. No, I'm pretty sure you're a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I love the writing of this, don't you? This is really funny. But then there she is all um, held up. You can't keep me here like some animal. I demand to be released. We're only holding you until the police arrive. This was a peaceful demonstration. You trespassed on private property, Miss Milton, and many of your followers were carrying guns. The right to bear arms is a, is a, is a guarantee of the U.S. Constitution. Besides, you're the one who insult, assaulted us. No one was seriously hurt. And J Bullshit! <sighs> J2 is addressing any minor energies, ener injuries as we speak. Okay, I give him props for that, at least. He knows how to cover their ass for optics. Yep. Um, your gorilla henchman once put a gun in my mouth. How is that appropriate? The NHC is backed by the Tea Party, the NRA, and dozens of religious groups. Of course they are. <laughs> you won't rest until that innocent girl and her baby are released, or until this whole island is burned down. We're not filing any charges, Miss Milton. NHC assaults only work to J2's advantage. Oh, really? The ratings spike every time you appear on J2. Of course they do! Of course they do. Mr. McHale here is the show's second most popular character. People love seeing him kick your asses. Granted, we lose money on pain and suffering lawsuits raised by the victims, but we always come out on top through increased network traffic and advertising. In other words, I hope to see you again real soon. You're free to leave. I've got to put a baby on the air. I mean, are you really surprised by this? No, I'm not. And that kind of makes me sad because this sounds like exactly what would happen. It does. And Sean knows exactly what he's talking about. And again, he's calling out both sides equally. Mm-hmm. So, of course, they're having a bunch of kids there in the place and everything, trying to make friends. Um, this learning center is designed to give your son a state-of-the-art education, allowing other children onto the island as a security room. Oh, these are holographic classmates. Oh. Oh, Lord almighty. And what will you be learning? Math, English, American history, creationism, and faith healing. Creation here, you know, and creationism and faith healing? You're kidding me! Ma many of our viewers are fundamentalists and would be uncomfortable with your savior learning about science and evolution. That's ridiculous. The benefit of a billion dollar learning center and all you teach is dogma? It's the American way. Do you actually think he'll start performing miracles if you teach him faith healing? Of course not. I have something else in mind for that. Don, Don, Don Baker here with a special... Uh, you're going to like Baker throughout all this. Reports are just in minutes ago that Jesus, the Jesus clone performed his first miracle on, te on television. The footage show, seems to show the imp spelling out the word Genesis with a set of blocks. Aye. And I, I have to agree with the, um, the skeptic. This is complete baloney. Six months old lacked the dexterity to do such a thing. 
It must have been CGI or for some other form of camera trickery. And the classic church's claim to verify miracles is and always will be nonsense. Okay, that's where he goes a little too far. Hmm. And, um, but yeah, while controversy about the clone continues, we can report with certainty that J2 is the biggest show in history. Over 3 billion people tune in daily. That's the equivalent of 27 Super Bowls. So, I just love how he's basically taking the idea of religion, mix it in with the Truman Show. Hmm. That's pretty much what it is, right? Yeah, basically. Everyone's the watching. The sad reality is that this is sort of thing of mixing spirituality with trying to make a buck has basically been a thing for as long as religion has been a thing. I mean, yeah. one the of the first thing things that Jesus did was clear the moneylenders out of the temple. Right. Now, the only difference is, of course, the kid is well aware it's a reality show, unlike the Truman Show where he had no idea. Mm-hmm. But, um... Oh, yeah, but yeah, they're... Playing with the, um, like, Gwen and, um, ah, geez, the doc, yeah, and the doctor are interacting with each other, and, um, oh, yeah, the bear's name is Cola. Hmm. Um, are all pay power little bears this playful? <laughs> no. In order to set him, I had to alter his genes to make him more friendly. He's like a big puppy. I think Chris has a new best friend. We should talk to Thomas about going to see your parents. It's a security issue, so he should be able to help. Thomas won't do anything. I don't think he even likes me. He doesn't like anyone, so don't take it personally. They'll show. I know they will. The day isn't over yet. They don't show up. Mm. She was fine earlier, but then she became so distant and depressed. She won't even hold Chris. She's, o she's only 18! I mean, yeah. And I don't think she's realized what she signed up for. The NEC is right. She's essentially a prisoner here. It's people like the NAC that make Gwen a prisoner here. This is the only place she's safe. Look at her. Does she look safe to you? You're meant to protect her and the baby, and you're not doing your job. She's still a kid, too, and she needs her family. Of course, I mean, he remembers with his uncle. Careful, Thomas. This isn't our side of the street, and that park doesn't belong to us. Come with me. Got something I want to show you. This is our side of the street, and that's our pub. Your dad and I used to come here a lot. Hmm. And um, shows him a photo of everything, of all that. Trying to basically, and he, again, he thinks he killed his parents. Mm -hmm. You're following orders. Your dad would have been proud. See that board with all the pictures? Those are friends of your dad. They're, those are dead Catholics. They died for the cause. They fought the protest and protest and oppression. That's the reason you can't set foot across the street. Be a good fella and put that photo up with the others. Can I get a pin, a pint, Iman? The police, the royal, uh, and Ulster and um, Ulster's constabulary is filled with protestant officers who don't give a shit about Catholics. They won't even try to find the men who killed you, folks. But I will, and you're coming with me. So he he's convinced himself like this is what your dad did, and he's like, I want to be like dad. Oh Lord Almighty! But you can tell there's something off about the uncle, isn't there? Yeah. But what, uh, he then, unfortunately, Gwen's been taken to drinking. <sighs> and Tom is starting to realize the problems here. Dr. Epstein, we got a problem. I found this on Gwen. I don't allow, allow any alcohol on the island. She must have snuck it in somehow. Gwen is showing normal signs of postpartum depression, and but, and, but it's been made worse by J2 and Slate. And all of her previous surgeries might be having a delayed reaction. What surgeries? Gee, I got breast implants, straighter teeth, and a nose job. Dyed her hair blonde and put her through an ex exercise routine so she maintained her figure throughout pregnancy. Again, thinking about the, um, the ratings. Yup, the optics. Uh... Uh, oh, and of course, Jen says, like, looks like Chris will have a, have a playmate. She's claiming she's pregnant through her own um, genetics. Hmm. Well, at least that's good to hear. Oh, boy. I know. It's like, we're going to be baby mommies together. Damn, girl, look at you being all knocked up and shit. Who's the lucky dude? None of our bi and none of our business. I disagree. This works. It. Okay, yeah, it just says anonymous donor. And I'm going to name her Rebecca. Great, uh, congratulations, doctor. Ratings have applied totally lately, so this should help shake things up a bit. I insist that she stay here on the island. No deal. 
I'll bring her here to and bring her to work with me, and she'll be part of the show. But she comes home with me each day, and that's final. We'll see. I thought she couldn't have kids. Cloning Chris helped me find a way around the problem, so I decided to give it another try. All right, if you're going to leave the island with the child, I insist you take this homing device. If there's any trouble, I'd be able to come to your aid. Uh, that's okay, Thomas. You and the child be li and will likely become a target. I'd be happy to neutralize anyone who poses a, tr a threat. Okay? And I painted it pink because you're having a girl. <laughs> <laughs> of course, we also find out he's been um, giving her the... Um, Slight's been giving her the alcohol. <sighs> like, it's not like she's breastfeeding due to the breast implants. Yep. Don't press me, Thomas. I back your every move in uh, in this insecurity, and that's not always easy or cheap. The rules need to change. It's abusive to her and the child. Isn't this a matter of a little out of your jurisdiction? Epstein's worried, and suddenly you two are getting along. <laughs> like when he tries to say, basically, he's still trying to think about the audience. Um, and he says, like <sighs> the audience likes Rebecca. I'll find a way to keep her here as well. I won't allow that. Yes, you will if you want to follow through on your commitment. To protecting that baby, you will. Oh, but then to the point where they're out just swimming, you know, and everything. She grabs a bottle and points and fills it up. It's supposed to be um, milk, but then it's wine. Of course, they try to pass it off as a miracle. They turn juice into wine. But she's freaking out because it turns out it wasn't a miracle. It was, And she literally grabbed the wrong bottle. Mm-hmm. And she is freaking out, saying, I need to leave. I can't stay here. I need to go. It's not a miracle. I actually gave him wine. Shit, I'm such a bad mother. My secret bottle in the fridge by the pool. Slate gave it to me, and now everyone thinks it's another miracle. But he's really just a normal kid, And but I'm a bad mother. I need to leave because I can't take this anymore. What does she do? Runs to Slate's car, starts to drive into the fence, crashes it, and she's basically like, take me off this fucking island, or I promise I'll kill myself. And I fucking mean it. So um, he's, the, the guy tells him, I'll distract Slade and watch Chris. You two hit the road. T and, Tim, and, and of course, he's also like, he's hacked him, hacked the system, keeping him from controlling anything. And where the hell's my car? As he drives off, it turns out, though, the place has been foreclosed. She doesn't know uh, where her parents are. Indeed. Sorry, Gwen. Never heard of M and M and ban uh, on banana pancakes before. I just invented them. They look colorful. My parents would never let me eat them, but they're gone now. Oh, so, so I guess they passed away, and she didn't even know. Oh, that is terrible. And she was given the lie that they were going to show up. Yeah. Well, she. Oh no, they're not dead. They just left, abandoned. Why? Because they feel threatened. I mean, that's even sense. worse. That's even worse. Indeed. I Man, I don't blame her parents, but at the same time, of course, when you're like, do you think that he is the second coming? Yes. And that's why you do this job, isn't it? It's not about the paycheck. I've got a lot of sins to make up for. Uh oh. <sighs> they um and and they pulled my hair my hair real hard. Get behind me and cover your ears. They go out, idiot. This and the fuck was I thinking? Damn it, they're after us. Holy shit, we could have used one of Chris's miracles right now. As the NAC are behind them. Hmm. I lost a chunk of my hair to that craze fan. God, that hurt. The fuck was I thinking? I should have I should have taken you straight back to the island. Thanks for the pancakes, though. <laughs> was this was that our first date? Should be easy enough to outrun the two. Are you listening to me? Not now, Gwen. And I should fire the two of them. Sir, more NEC up gas around the front gate. I don't know how they're going to make it through. Tim's talking through my helmet phone. He says there's a bunch of people blocking the... Tell Tim to listen up. Here's what we're going to do. Oh, they just spray him with water. Put your arm around me. Ooh! <sighs> I know you two think you did the right thing for Gwen tonight. And you're expecting... You were expecting, expected to get caught. And now you're expecting me to be angry. You won't believe me, but I care about each of you. I, I gave a lot of thought to your concerns about Gwen. I don't want her to be sad, and I don't want her to be a prisoner. I don't want to be the bad guy. So lately, I've been looking to wait to safely let her leave. Maybe even start letting Chris attend public school. 
But after what happened tonight, it's clear that Gwen can never leave the island. Oh, F you! Uh, of so course you can't. It's your, of course they're saying, it's your fault. And look at that look on her face. Now she's mortified. And she's reading him about the Bible and all that, so she's kind of understanding God a bit more. Whereas obviously Chris has no clue. But she's constantly trying to kill herself. She's had to maybe try to do a whole bunch of different escape attempts. And even says, like, she's on antidepressants. And, of course, the um, guys, try, um, Don is saying, like, what about the side effect? Is it true you're using drugs to prop her up like a puppet for the cameras? Mm. <laughs> like, Jesus told the fisherman, that's me. Yes, that's you, baby. Can I really do that? Oh, Dr. Epstein, our resident skeptic, tried to stop the classes, claiming they were inappropriate for kids, but she can only pull her own daughter out. Uh, out. Viewership demanded that Chris continue learning the Bible. Oh, jeez. Oh, but look at that. Aw. Aw. With Rebecca in his life, it's probably easy for him to forget that his mother is slowly fading away. That's Don saying that, and frankly, I'm offended by the accusation, but I like how Don's calling him out properly. Indeed. Ma I, mommy? Mommy needs her less, little man. Why don't you join Rebecca with me this afternoon? What's that? It's and This is what's so important to mommy. It's called chlorodomus di... Uh, I'm trying to alter the scrub carbon dioxide out. Uh, you know, basically, in other words, it's her miracle algae. Fair enough. <laughs> oh, jeez. You're the one who told them that bullshit about God drowning the people at the flood. Mommy said a bad word. Er, uh, sorry, don't let me ever hear you talk like that, okay? Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit! <laughs> Typical kid. Uh, Chris, I mean it. Yeah, Chris, you need to be more like me. I'm the good one. It's God drowning the world again. Of course not. She was only kidding. You're a liar and I don't like you. Me? What the hell did I do to you? Hell, 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 hell! <laughs> <laughs> That's my toy. You played with it last time. Maybe we should build an ark for when God floods the planet again. We don't need to. I can walk on water, so I could just carry you over the wave. You can't do that. It's impossible. Yeah, I can. It's a mir mir miracle. I could do a miracle. Watch. Told ya. What's, and what was that? Where's Chris? He's doing a miracle. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Goes in. Get, um, uh, Cola gets him out. Uh, Chris fell in the pool. Come on, Chris, come back. What what happened? Why wasn't someone watching him? It was my fault. I'm sorry. It happened so fast. What were you doing, Chris? I was trying to walk on water. I was doing a miracle. I told him it wouldn't work. Shut up, Rebecca. What happened? Where's Slate? Thank God damn it. Oh, but then um, Gwen finally figures out what to do. As she's making all these demands. So she takes the scissors and in front of the camera, uh, not scissors, a letter opener, stabs herself. Oh, boy. Uh, let, him, uh, let him have it, what he wants. Of course, he slams the door. I won't cooperate until you do. I can play this game too, Gwen. I'll just increase your medication until you're nothing but a shell. Think of the ratings. Think of how many people would love to see Chris outside in the world. What? I know it'll be dangerous, but think of the advertising, viewership, the profits. You really think it's that simple that all I care about is money? Yes! I promise, I promise I'll behave if you promise to stop interfering with Chris's life. No more miracles. Just let him go to a regular school with real children. Deal. And we jump many years later. And it turned out he did go to school. Rebecca was a social one, but Chris kept on feeling so anti-social. Oh, and hey, look at that psychiatrist guy. He's actually there, and he's actually trying to help him. And... Chris scored a 185, so he's a genius. Christians rejoice. Jesus was a genius. Oh, God. Ah. But why was he testing so low? Some blame his mom. Some blame the educational system. Psychologists blamed his years in isolation. Some blame Thomas McHale. Maybe his overprotective demeanor was causing undue stress. No. But Daisy Milton, the New American Christians, endorsed the public schooling and called a protest ceasefire against Rick Slane J2. She even provided armed NAC patrols outside the schools to help safeguard their savior. 
Milton, however, never commended and commented on rumors of NAC training camps around the Midwest, suspicion of Christian extremists plot to build a Jesus army for end times. Of even greater concern are new accusations against Rick Slate involving racism. The controversy started a month ago when Chris asked an African-American girl to the freshman prom. According to sources, producers Rick Slate responded to the internet uproar by paying the girl's father to deny her admittance to the dance. More rumors suggest that he secretly bought Chris a new date. A Caucasian female was also the school's head cheerleader. Slate tried to dispel the accusation, but court reporters weren't buying it. That's when he agreed to let Chris onto our show, grant, uh, granting us this historic interview. Oh, jeez, poor kid. <sighs> Tell me, Chris, is all this true? Uh, <clears throat> I've watched you growing up, son. I know you're shy, but the media can help you. If something happened and you need to tell us. Again, I like Don, don't you? Yeah. He's a legit good news guy. You don't see many of those. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, I can't do this. I'm. You can leave in a minute, Chris. Just answer Don's important question. None of it's true. Taylor's dad wouldn't let her go, so I asked T Sandy instead. Mr. Slate didn't do anything. He's always done his best to look out for me and my mom. That's bullshit. Tell the truth, Chris. Ah, poor kid. Just look at his face, right? Mm-hmm. Come on out, Gwen. You can't hide forever. Don't make me have Cola sniff you out again. We had a deal. The deal was that you cooperate. You said you leave Chris alone. I can't do that. He's worth a fortune. I want to see my son now. What did she do? She sighs one last dead shepherd. I'm sorry, but hopefully you'll understand. If only we met in another life. Takes the gun, starts shooting, actually gets some um, slate in the leg. And um, is wanting to run out there with um, Chris. Uh, demanding to open the gate. Um, and stand back, Thomas, please. But he won't do it. So, they, and Gwen is fired and tossed out. Even though Tom is even demanding it. Hmm. And Tom, Thomas, no, it's okay. This is for the best. And, yeah, I'm taking Gwen to the hospital. Are you going to play nice? And, of course, Chris has a big fit. I refuse to cooperate until they let me go. So until I get my mother back, the show's over. Your mother loved this bike. She and I went out on it once. Called it a date. You were still a baby then. She needed to leave and to leave. She lost something important and wanted to go find it. So I went with her. Tried to help her, but she didn't find what she was looking for. Had a great time, even though it rained. We got in a bit of trouble, but it was worth it. Let it out, lad. I miss her too. What's the point of this anymore? Who am I without my mother? And her mother? Now this is a dream. She dreams of this angel grabbing her, saying, what kind of fucking mother are you? Now, those grips, it's her mind showing, you know, illusion, you know, making it think it's real. Hmm. And then eventually, um, are you, and after you were fired from J2, you say you were saved by an angel, Gwen? Tell us a little about it. As we all know, J2 really messed me up. Severe depression, alcohol addiction. I was even suicidal. Threw myself off the balcony of a hospital where I was being treated. I just wanted the pain to stop. And then what happened? Then an angel came out of the sky, grabbed me by the arms, and flew me to the hospital. At first I thought it was a dream, but I noticed two large hand-shaped bruises on my arms from where the angel caught me. That's when I turned it all around. That's when I realized that God had a plan for me. There's no medical in, in record of the bruises, and the doctor insists that the balcony door in the hospital can't be opened by patients. I know what I saw, Don, and it's all in the book. Savior was out a mother. The New York Times bestseller that topped the charts last week. What made you want to write the book? So she's trying to do what she can, and then she joined up with the NAC to break in. Don't shoot. Thomas is a friend. None of them are you for your friends. Oh, boy. They're, they're yeah, putting up a good fight. Unfortunately, Cola gets killed. Hmm. Aww. Aww. Oh. Oh. And I defend Chris. Which way, Gwen? To the right, and to the right, then down the stairs. Oh, they're all waiting there. Whatever happens, make sure the kids are safe. But even this point, though, with um, the, you know, the uh, Milton. There he is. I can see him. Not so fast, sweetheart. Something's not right. It's too easy. Why did, they, and why did that door open? What happened? Something's gone wrong. 
I can make it. No, Gwen, and stay back, Gwen. The commute, the cameras have shut down. Chris, I'm here. Hey, my gun won't fire. Mine either. Door slams right on her. Mom, open the door. She's bleeding. Chris, someone get the do and the doctor. Look what he's doing. Increased mm. closing pressure. Mom, oh gosh. tell me what to do. Chris, love you. Saw Angel. Forgive me. Screw him! Screw him indeed. Someone get the doctor. We can still save her. Oh, F you! Gwen, maybe, maybe can heal her. Make her bring her back to life like Jesus did. Where's Milton? Did she run off? Go find her. Sorry, Thomas. The door malfunctioned. Nothing we could do. Liar! Uh, and no pulse. She's gone. And Thomas, admit what you did. Thomas, put him down. You don't want to kill him. Say it! Thomas! You're fired. Tim, hack the security and pull the video record. Someone call the police. Thomas, listen to me. You saw what he did. He's not getting away with this. I'll kill him first. I can't hack the system. Slate controls everything. There's no evidence. He shut down the cameras as well. But Gwen, I know. We'll get him, I promise. But you need to leave. I'll stay here with Chris and see what I can find. Oh, boy, you feel bad for Thomas. This was the bridge too far for him. Yep. So we and we and we'll, we'll get him, but we have to be smart. They lost Gwen and Cola. Oh, geez, and look in there. Mm-hmm. A double freak out. They took her. They took Chris away, and then what does he find? Cola dead too. Oh, but he is not. Kid's not happy. There's a song. He starts listening to a bunch of punk songs like "Jesus Was a Terrorist" by the Dead Kennedys, um, and all this other stuff. He is, uh, and of course they think exercise is a way of coping, but he decides, like, let's try and look at holographic history without slight filters. So he starts seeing all the different histories and everything. He starts to feel like people like um, Carl Sagan was, is awesome. The downside of Christianity. Um, and what is he decide? He decides he's going to become an atheist. After everything that happened, can you blame him? Hmm. I mean, they basically dragged the whole name of religion through the mud through, like, corporate profit and for ratings. And, and basically extreme. ruined people's lives in the process. Well, and you well, shall know them by their fruits. And also the extremism of the NAC as well, though. I mean, I give mm -hmm. them props. At least she tried to stop Gwen. Mm hmm But that's the only good I give her. But what does he do? Give it up for Jesus Christ. Uh... Thank you. Thanks a lot, everyone. What? No more applause? Something wrong? Or am I not the Jesus you expected? Well, sorry to fucking disappoint you, but I'm not Jesus Christ. Religion is dangerous. It impedes human progress like a virus. It's a global opiate for the masses. It numbs us with feel-good, magical sinking and inflates our egos. Two billion people starve each day while American hoards global resources for obscene overconsumption. We're gorging on oil, fast food, and entertainment while we remain isolated from the true cause of our habits. And I'm the embodiment of it. It was only a matter of time before you created me, wasn't it? Our 14 year, and for 14 years, you've borne witness as Rick Slate fucked with every aspect of my life, all for your personal entertainment. And when that wasn't good enough, what did he do? He killed my mom. Sometimes I wish I was Jesus Christ and that this was the second coming. Then I could take you all to hell. Ah, oh, Jesus, and Ed, he runs out of there. Keep running, Chris. Please don't let us catch you. Then ran off the stage to file, and I know, calling Rebecca. I'm here. What are you doing out here? Helping a friend, pointing, helping Thomas out. All right, boy, let me tell you a bit about the IRA. The, Repub the Irish Republican Army is the longest running terrorist group in the history of the world. It draws support from the Irish Catholics in Ireland, New York City, and Boston, when many of the immigrants emphasized it was the cause. Is uniting the island of Ireland by forcing England out. Oh, it's that type of thing. The fighting against the North, Northern Ireland. But yeah, we see we see a bit about Thomas growing up and as how he became who he would later become. Um, Thomas, get your men here. On here, a bit of Would 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 you, Eamon? Church, you go every day, don't you, Tom? Never seen you there. My church is out there on the street where the devils roam. How can you drink that cheap beamish? 
Murphy's Gu and Murphy's Guinness. It all makes me <laughs> stuff like that. But um, again, we just see a bit more of his stuff growing up and how many people he's killed. Oh, a bunch of people heading down there. Jesus Christ! What and the fuck is and Christ? The fuck is wrong with you? Going off alone? I got twelve, maybe thirteen. Get in the car. No, my father's bi a bike. I need it. Ed, I'll meet up with you later. Where are you going? He put Christ's crosses on for every victim that he shot. That's why he has all those crosses. We then see that um, Chris is wanting to join um, this punk rock band. Jesus mm. Christ the Serpent in New York. And to the horror of many Christians and the NAC, he's become the lead singer for a punk lead band called the Flat Jackets. Apparently, Rick Slade's been lying to reporters. Pulling the plug on the J2 project wasn't done to get Chris the help that he needed. It was pulled because J2 lost track of its star. We now go to our field reporters for the latest details. <laughs> and, wow, I've never had a camera in my face before. You're looking for the scoop? Some sort of exclusive interview that you'll use to boost ratings in order to bleed more money from advertisers? Again, he's taking what punk really was about, but he has good reasons for it. Mm-hmm. So yeah, he's still doing all of this celebrating stuff, but he's pushing the um, pushing it as well. He's basically lashing out, but he's also making things worse. Mm -hmm. As Thomas shows up and like, come on, Chris, we're leaving. I'm not leaving without the band. You're not leaving, period. Not without a million from J2. We're going back home. It's too dangerous here. After what happened at J2, he's safer with us. Oh, he's still trying to help. Like, you're going to try and stop me? That's what I thought. How'd you find me so fast? Rebecca contacted me. She figured out where you were heading. She's worried about you. How'd you manage to get your bikes through the flooded street? Because he's fucking awesome. That's how. Keep him, aw keep him away from me. me. Chris, I'm not saying it again. Flake killed my mother. That wasn't a computer malfunction. He did it on purpose, and you know it. If you're committed to keeping me safe, how, do you, and how can you ask me to go back there? You'll be killed out there. Slate needs to answer what he's done, and I'm the only one who can get and get the truth. There's a lot and lots of flat jacket fans who won't uh, anyone fuck with him. Stay with us, Thomas. We'll go on tour, and you can take care of security. Do what you do best. Will that satisfy your cassock baggage and your stupid vow? The NEC is going to come at you hard. You're going to start a war, and it's good a good thing we have an army. Wow. I like where this is going. Get on the bike. We're leaving. You're surrounded. You couldn't force me to leave even if you wanted to. What makes you so sure? And you're not about to brawl with a hundred innocent teenagers. I know you too well. Please stay. Help us. My mom asked you to protect me, and she wouldn't want me to go back to J2. Fine. But I'll make all security decisions, and that's final. Give me a month to plan. We'll need extra security and reinforced transportation. And we bring Tim on board. One month, just making just enough to make a new record. This dude is awesome. Can you get someone else to play bass so I can hang out with Thomas? Oh gosh. <laughs> so yep, everyone is um help. He's helping. He's helping out at everything. The band has a huge support from the scientific scientific community. Dr. Carl Clark made this comment after last week's performance. I'm not a fan of punk rock music. Chris's anti-CS anti lyrics are incredibly well-written. Of course, now you're speaking in favor! Already at odds with the scientists, the NAC were horrified when Jesus Christ and the Flak Jackets won a Nobel Peace Prize last month. Okay, I find that hard to believe! Yeah, that's, that's a bit of a stretch. It is. Unless Slate was responsible for that behind the scenes, which I wouldn't be surprised. Mm hmm. Why do you think Rick Slate hasn't been doing more to stop you? Because he's a. <laughs> I'm not sure if you can say that word on live television. <laughs> Slate made a number, a number of attempts, none of which have been public. Tell us. First, he tried to pay us off. Then he threatened legal action, claiming that I was owned by Ophis. He even resorted to flattery and attempt to help fund our tour in exchange for a cut of the profits. Seems Office could be doing more. Such a powerful company. What's to stop them from swooping in and grabbing you? The campaign's too public, and they don't want to be the bad guys anymore. As long as the cameras are rolling, I'm protected by the watching eyes of the world. The publicity that ruined your childhood is actually working to your advantage now. It's our best weapon. 
So what do you want from Slate? How does this all end? This ends when Slate releases the shroud. Then I can have scientists prove I'm not really a cone of Jesus Christ. And why do you think he won't release the shroud? He has too much to lose. Once I prove that Slate's been lying, J2 will be ruined, and the politicians on OFIS payroll will have no choice but to investigate in the end. Slate will be their scapegoat. And if the shroud isn't real, if there's no DNA on it, on it, then whom do you think you're a clone of? I don't care whose DNA I come from. The way I see it, I'm the bastard child of America of America's runaway entertainment complex. Burn! Burn indeed. So, yep, yeah, um, Epstein, uh, Dr. Epstein and Rebecca are with her as well. You're kidding me. No, I've I never actually seen the shroud. Slade handed me the DNA and had me sign a nine-disclosure ad- agreement. Was it 2,000 years old? If I told you, Chris, then I'll lose everything. Rebecca and I are so close to finishing. Your testimony could end this. If your work's more important to you than I am, would you really have me choose you over 8 billion people on the planet? There's, there has to be something you can do, doctor. You help, get, and, your, and your help would give me my freedom. You are free, Chris. No one's making you do all this. Even if I told you everything, you still need the evidence that's locked up at J2. Once my work is completed and the LG is safely away from Slate, I'll tell you all you all you want to know and more. Just lie low for a few weeks. No need to keep putting yourself at risk. I'm not lying, lying low ever. What do you mean? There's too much wrong with this country. There are consequences for religious belief. And now that I have their undivided attention, I'm going to give them their fucking medicine. So, and remember this, Chris is just 15. Yeah. Sometimes I feel like a mother to you, and I can't bear to watch you drive yourself into the ground like this. My brother was a brainwashed media whore and a drunk. Slap! Your mother did the best she could, and she'd hate to see you like this. I'm out of here. Ugh, again, he's just... Uh, you feel bad for him, don't you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> As they talk a little bit, I love this last bit. I'm tired of talking. Now it's your turn. What's your favorite Nintendo game? Contra. <laughs> uh oh, the NAC are attacking them. Oh boy. And oh, your mother would totally disapprove of your behavior, Christopher. Her pulse is her pulse is weak. The others are unconscious. We need to get him to a hospital. Yeah, he doesn't want them to die. He doesn't want anyone to die. Have you ever? So yeah, he's never actually killed anyone. Milton's going to be okay. The others as well. But if you don't stop, then neither will they. The NAC will become a Christian Al-Qaeda. It's all part of my plan. Fundamentalists like the NAC are destroying their own religion. Because of their bad example, many Christians are stepping back. Then quit while you're ahead. I've got millions saved up from J2. Let me use it to hide you. But do you still believe that I'm Jesus Christ? Yes. Then why are you questioning my decision to do this? Isn't that what you believe the original Jesus did? He fought the powers that be and preached against accepted doctrine. I promised your mother I'd take care of you. And suddenly you care about murder? The IRA, the troubles, and the, and the dozen of people you killed? No offense, but don't pretend that your struggle is anything like what I'm going through. Yours, uh, yours was a war of religion. Mine is against it. There's more to it than that. The IRA likes to pretend it's about religion, but it was too late before I understood that. Yeah, we'll find out a little bit later. Um, what's wrong? Seems Thomas has a weak spot for kids. Move the bus. Bloody hell, I can't go anywhere in traffic. Oh, oh, a, a bomb goes off and knocks them all aside. And, oh, they lost it. One kid got lost. And he, that's when he turned himself in. My entire life, I've been trying to figure out why God would make me so good at killing. I had an unnatural gift, it seemed. And I was certain that he intended me to serve the cause. But I was wrong. Then one day I met your mother. So sweet, innocent, and pure. She needed me to protect her from all the horror out there. The horror that I represented. And finally, it was clear to me what God intended all along. All my crimes weren't for nothing. Because eventually they led me to Gwen. I could finally use my gift for something good. There is no God, Thomas. Your gifts were the product of your uncle's indoctrination. Hold on one sec.
Sorry about that. Uh, uh, but yeah, like blind idealism did this to me, and it's doing it to you. There's still a time for one of us to make peace. So they go up to Mil uh, to Milton, but what does he tell him? You help create. Oh, actually, on oh, Milton first is like, um, forgive me, Chris. I shouldn't have attacked you, even though you're misguided by the devil. Oh God, I know you'll come back to the light. Let's just forgive each other for our sins and end this silly conflict. You helped create me, Milton, twice. J2 exists because they knew they could profit from the viewership of fat Midwestern Christian housewives like you and your constant harassment over the years only increased rating. Then you created me a second time when you contributed to my mother's death. That's when my face fell apart. That's when I became an atheist, and that's why we're enemies. You've been beaten, and I've only just got started. Oh, on, uh, on. Once we're finished touring the United States, we'll bring our message worldwide. The flake jackets, flak jackets will hit every Christian hotspot on the planet, starting with Jerusalem. Oh, Chris, every time he's given a chance to back out, he won't. Mm-hmm. Oh, but yeah, we see them working, you know, like uh, Epstein and Rebecca working more on the, um, you know, they're trying to finish things as soon as they can. I didn't see a bit more with Slate. Um, heard that you're almost done with your algae. Soon. Are you taking your whole staff with you once you're done? Yes. I'll be the only one left then, all alone. And I should feel sorry for you. Still can't figure out how this all went wrong. No one believes me, but I really did build J2 with the best of intentions. America is one of the most Christian nations on earth. I just want to give them what they wanted. People sometimes want something that's not good for them, and you delivered. God made me cunning, doctor. It's not my fault I've been given such an own holy gift. Do you believe in God? Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> but yep, they're now in, heading to Jerusalem, and it soon will be all. It'll be all over. And this is the last issue. We see, um, yeah, they're basically. Um, he, this is after he was apprehended, and like, my name is Chief Inspector Grant of the RUC. I know IRA protocol for interrogation is for you to, st to stare at the wall and say nothing, which is fine, because really, I just need you to listen. November 6, 1987. Police respond to the reports of a shooting near the Falls Road. Two suspected IRA ma ma members, Ayn and Thomas McHale Sr., were found dead after a struggle with unknown assailants in a home invasion. That's the night that changed their life. The IRA blamed the Ulster Volunteer Force, its pro, um, Protestant counterpoint. When we found no evidence of UF and UVF involvement, the IRA accused the RUC of protecting the UVF, blah, blah, blah. I had a good idea who the shooters were, but without proper evidence, I couldn't make an arrest. Plus, there was still a missing child I had to worry about. What happened to little Thomas McHale? After 12 years of searching, looks like I finally have an answer. Indoctrinated by his uncle, little Thomas McHale set out to be the IRA's warrior that would make his dad proud. The training came natural for Thomas. After all, it was in his blood. Until one day, the cemetery is arrested for murdering three cops and one little girl. Tell me, will the girl get across as well? Maybe a little pink one? Before you answer that, I have something that your father would want you to see. State your name for the camera, please. Thomas McHale Sr. Married to Annie McHale. My wife of 10 years. We have a son, Thomas Jr. He'll be seven soon. And why are you here today? I'm here to engage and exchange IRA information for police protection. Are you a member of the IRA? My older brother and I did a little hell raising as boys, and I've received some initial training from IRA gunmen. But I've never been a member of the IRA. Shit! So what mm. do you have? Safe houses? Operatives? Seen fiend connection, and I know the location of weapon caches. My brother Solly is the quartermaster of the IRA's Belfast Brigade. He's the reason I'm here. Ever since I quit my IRA training, he sinks me a liability. Why did you quit your training? One day I found my son holding one of my pistols. He removed the clip and some of the bullets all of, on, on his own. He's only six and he can do this. God has given me a sign. Show me what my son might be capable of if he wasn't raised properly. What happened to your hand? My promise never to reveal IRA secrets wasn't good enough, so Sully threatened me and my family, broke my hand against his jaw, knocked him right out. To protect my son and my family and keep my son out of the devil's hands, I am asking for RUC protection. My name is Charles Grant, inspector for the RUC. 
in the name of Her Majesty the Queen, I officially accept the request of Tom McHale for police protection in exchange for information regarding the acti activities. I told your father that he sh we should send you and your mother away, but he insisted on having one last night before your family was uprooted. That decision proved to be fatal. So guess who the real killer was? Oh, boy. The uncle. Yep. All to cover it up and make Thomas into the weapon that he wanted, that um, the uncle wanted him to be. So he busted out, go to his uncle. You should have killed me along with my parents. Whatever the Bureau has told you, Thomas, ignore it. Don't say anything to get you to talk. They told, you, they told me he was against the IRA. They told me about the fight he'd had. He's fit, broken fist, how he went to the police. How else did you arrive so quickly after the attack? It was you outside the window. Yet you let me believe it was my fault they died. You said it was my fault, but it was really yours. You weren't sp and sparing his uh, suffering. It was an execution. Then you turned me, ag and me against him. Uh, anywhere else in the world, it's okay for brothers to disagree. But this is Belfast. I took you in so you could restore the family's honor that he tarnished. It wasn't meant as revenge. Whatever it's worse, know that you made me proud, Thomas. In the end, you are your father's son, not mine. Oh! Turned himself back in and decided never to kill again. The Lord has given you revenge, Thomas, but now the time to repent. How shall I repent? Help restore justice to the land, and the Lord will sooner free you from these walls. But heed my warning. Take one more life, and I'll see you burn in hell. One day you'll meet me again. If it's redemption you seek, then you'll know what to do. Damn! What a backstory! Hmm. But yep, they're in Jerusalem, and well, what do you think happens? Oh, yes. And unfortunately, to try and um, stop him, he does kill lives. And I like, take one more life and you go to hell. Thomas, promise me you'll look after Chris. One day you'll meet me again. So he thinks the angel was when. So he guns mm. all down. But then he's like, holy shit, that was promise me you're the second coming. But, but tell me you're Jesus Christ and I'm not going to hell for breaking my vow. My whole life I've tried to do what God has asked. But all I've ever been is a fucking murderer. I promised your mother and your mother I'd stop killing. Then I promised her I'd look after you. But looking after you meant killing these men. It doesn't make sense. If there, uh, is there any way I won't end up in hell? Seems like I never had a chance. My mother wasn't married. Oh. Oh, man. It's the thing about religion that can really mess you up, right? Hmm. When the extremists, I mean. So, yeah, they're trying to figure out what to do. and um, But turns out J2 got everything burned up. Everything was set ablaze, including all the research. Of course it was. And she decides, screw it. She's going to tell him everything. But of course they think like oh, everything's gone, all the evidence. I can help you. There's evidence that Slate doesn't know about, something I hit a long time ago. He won't see it coming, and it's for sure to destroy J2 for good. Your sister! Yeah! Did you see that coming? Woo. Rebecca was his twin sister. She was Ooh. never pregnant. She was, and, and, and Epstein was never pregnant. Dumb it's a good, I didn't see it coming, but it makes sense. Mm-hmm. Like, Dr. Epstein, is Chris really a clone of Jesus Christ? No. I've never even seen the shroud. Slate simply handed me a vial of DNA and told me not to ask questions. The sample was a few days old, not 2,000 years old. After that, I knew I never could trust Slate. I need some bit of evidence that would reveal the truth about J2, something that would protect all of us if things ever got out of control. So I created a twin. Rebecca is Tris and Chris's twin sister. What? Gwen never knew, only Slate and I. Instead of letting him give her up for adoption, I secretly took Rebecca as my own daughter. But you were pregnant during season one. How did you fake the sonograms and all the morning sickness? I'm a Nobel Prize winning geneticist with a multi-billion dollar medical facility at my disposal. It wasn't hard. Of course, like, a twin? A girl can't be Jesus. Give it up, you Christian assholes. He's not your messiah. Oh, shit. 
Hmm. How long have you known, Gwen? We found out yesterday. He's always been a brother to me, so it's not so difficult to believe. I was raised I was raised with lies all around me. At least this one works to my advantage. Is it a bit less lonely knowing you have one family member left? Something like that. Did you sp- and share your brother's a- atheistic tendencies? I agree that I understand he's upset, and I agree with a lot of what he says, but I choose to believe in a higher power. Nothing, uh, nothing understood by any man-made religion, but I feel comfort in some kind of God. So she's agnostic, in other words. Uh, that actually is more accurately describing deism. Oh, deism? Okay. You've been criticized for overly preaching in your statements, Chris. Do you ever think about taking a softer approach like your sister? Not all faiths are as harmless as my sister's. And we don't have time to coddle idiots like Daisy Milton anymore. Their religious freedom is impeding any progress. There's too much at stake for the for us to continue tolerating her outdated thinking. Oh God! And they come. They basically attack the tower. You know, the studio. And they, they make their way up there. Like the NAC is open fire in the lobby. Two security guards are down. How Christian of them! This reminds me of the '77 riot in Sri Lanka. Nothing like getting, being chased by an angry mob to get your blood going. <laughs> What are you doing? They've tripped the fire alarms. These doors won't close. Take your brother and go. I'll hold them. But there's over a hundred of them and they all have guns. Rebecca, do what they ask you. Take your brother. Come on, Chris. No, you would never leave us behind. Go. You were right, Thomas. But I was too upset to listen. I could have ended this when I had the chance, but instead I I chose to put you on more danger. But you don't need to do this. I'm not Jesus Christ. I'm just another dumb, stupid teenager and I'm not worth the sacrifice. I know you're not really Jesus Christ. I'm only doing this because I promised your mom. You're lying. They both hug him. I love you. They and he fights them all off. You're too bad. You're on the wrong. And you're the wrong kind of Christian. We could have used you. Shut. Shoot down the Antichrist. And oh crap! They shoot the chopper. Oh boy. And Chris dies. Oh man. But then. As the creator and producer of the J2 project, I'm proud to say I had total control over everything on the on the island before the fire. It isn't it convenient the fire occurred before the FBI began its investigation, and isn't it true, sir, that only you could have created such a fire given the many safeguards in J2's design? The fire is unfortunate, but upkeep fell once the clone left. And why would I incinerate all J2's records that could clear me of these other charges? Yes, let's start with the second charge of child endangerment. Opus spent a lot of money ensuring that J2 was the safest plate on Earth, physically. But the children were, were and the, the, the children were safe. But what about their emotional well-being? That's a question for their mother, Gwen Farling. And what of the and accusations of criminal negligent homicide in the case of Miss Farling? Gwen's passing broke my heart, which is why I started the Gwen Farling Fund and Fund for Alco- Alcoholic Moms shortly after. Ah, oh, jeez! And what about <sighs> God and lies you told America? I never lied. You claim the child was a clone of Jesus Christ, which according to Dr. Epstein's statement, he was not. I believe in my heart that Chris was the second coming of Jesus Christ. He was born of a virgin, performed miracles, and rebelled against social norms and divisive to believers. He found many disciples and was killed for his preaching. How much more convincing do you need? They made a statue dedicated to him. Now it looks like Chris. How long until you're done rebuilding? With the help of Chris's friends, not long. But who's this? Coke, our new island polar bear. Coke, your mother was a brave animal. If you're as brave as she, as she, this island won't need me. It's strange seeing so many smiles on J2. Rebecca got it as part of the settlement with Ophis. Of course, I would be happy if Slate hadn't gone off so easily. He'll burn in hell one way or another. What's this? Something you don't know about Slate. Record the night the kids were born. He told me Rebecca had an adoption home, so I followed him to make sure. That's enough sedative to kill two adults. He injected it under the tongue, so it would be hard to find if there was ever an autopsy. I'll understand why he also... I'll never understand why he also tried to drown her. I did what I could after Slate left. At that point, I had no doubt that Rebecca was dead. The injection mixed with drowning and hypothermia, the fact that she pulled through defies science. I'm tempted to call it a miracle. Why didn't you tell someone? You knew Slate was psychotic before any of us, and you did nothing. I know. Gwen would be alive right now. Slate could be on death row. Why the fuck didn't you come to me with this years ago? I would have taken care of it. I don't know. There's so much at stake. 
how and how would Gwen have you know, ever survived the death threats without the protection of J2? Without you coming forward would have meant you losing your lab as well. It's not like that. I swear to you, Thomas. So why show me now? Unlike you, I don't believe in an afterlife where slate will burn for eternity. There's no justice now. There never will be. Tell me honestly, after all the things you've seen this last 15 years, do you still believe there is and believe in God? Is there a hell for people like Slate? And what if you're wrong? To which the government might still be on a witch hunt, but for now, Opus is in the clear. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Meanwhile, I've got some ideas for a new show. We clone Muhammad. <laughs> there are way more Muslims than there are Christians, sir. So imagine the viewership. We'll let J2 Buzz die down, of course. Give the viewers a chance to grieve. No, wait, Thomas, can we work something out? We'll hire you for a new show. And that's the end. Oh, Fitting. boy. Fitting, huh? Fitting indeed. I mean, a bit sudden, a jarring of an ending, but it makes sense, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. So, what did you think? Oh, boy, I still have to kind of process that, because that was a lot. It was a lot it more dense than a lot of the other stuff we usually review on here. That's part of why I, I picked it. But overall, though, I mean, you see, John Gore Murphy, this was a masterpiece, wouldn't you say, as far as, you know, calling out all sides, not just, he never went with one side. That's what I love about it. It's just, it sort of felt like, I feel like the only word that's appropriate to say is that it was a clusterfuck, really. It was. It really was. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, just looking at it, though, I mean, like I said, if he really wanted to, he could have been Chris was right all along, or one side was right. But no, everyone was wrong. Everyone. In one form or another. At some point in their life, everyone was wrong. Mm-hmm. So, and, and yeah, it's just, you look at, I mean, also, what did you think of the artwork? It was pretty neat. Definitely. What would you say was your favorite, and which one was the character you felt like the most attached to? Hmm. For me, I really I mean, liked the scientist lady. Uh, Dr. Um, Epstein? Dr. Epstein, yes. Oh, I, lo I loved her too, but I gotta say, I kind of, for what little we saw of her, I liked Rebecca. I mean, just that one bit of her saying that she believes, you know, in a higher power and all that, won me over right away was her. That she mm -hmm. would felt more calm-minded than her brother. Yeah, she's mm -hmm. not an atheist like her mother. Because normally when you think about it, and that was her upbringing, you think she would have. Yeah, it's just a case of, it's really kind of a case of you go from one extreme to the other, but you haven't really corrected the fundamental error of thinking that would sort of lead you to fall off on both sides. Whereas it seems like yeah, she seemed to be finding more of like, hey, I'm going to observe what I understand of this without sort of a lot of the bias of the emotional baggage I've had around me. What makes the most sense? Yep. And also, I felt, again, I felt really bad for Chris. But even you have to admit, though, he went way too far. But at least at the last moment, he realized it. Yeah. But poor Thomas, right? It's just like he had... Indeed, poor Thomas. Just, oh, uh, man, I just, you know what I mean, right? Just after everything he's gone through in his life. Mm-hmm. Finding out, you know, being lied to, made into a weapon, trying to find some type of redemption only to, um, you, know, you know what I mean, right? But only for them to, to throw it all away. And by the end of it all, given his actions, do you think he's, given up on believing in God, or what do you think? I mean, it's hard to say with that ending. It really is hard to say, because it's just like, the whole point is that you really can't save yourself, and you have to ask to have somebody else save you, and I guess it's just, he might have gotten just locked into this particular mindset of, oh, it has to be me who does something, because I'm obsessed with feeling worthy more than I am upset, more than I am wanting to truly be healed. And that is one deadly mental trap you can fall into. It is. But at the same time, though, is it right to blame Thomas for all he's done when he was brainwashed, pretty much? Raised hmm. up. It, was the right, it, it kind of goes in that whole thing with terrorist groups. Like, is it 
right to do it. Like those who, like if it's ones who do know the truth and actually feel like I'm doing it for my own cause, yeah, those guys can burn in hell. But the ones that actually are buying what they've been fed, especially for as long as Thomas was. Yeah, it's just like you can't necessarily look at it. It's just like everyone in this faction is uniformly terrible. It's just like sometimes it's like there are people who are like truly a stick up their butt about it. There are some people like, who are like, like, like genuinely Slade. misguided. Like Slade or Milton, right? Mm hmm. Oh, Milton was a bitch, wasn't she? Mm hmm. But let's be honest, can we all agree Slate was the biggest monster, wasn't he? Mm hmm. It was never about, it was sort of a lot like Superman smashes the clan where it was never really about the belief system at all it was the, just how he could exploit it and the people who gathered around it and he keeps on claiming oh i really but i do believe in the j2 project no you don't no you don't it's just one investment that happened to blow up a lot and it's just like there is a lot of just it's just like yeah there's just a lot of stuff that can often get mixed in with like a genuine like like ah uh, stuff. I know. Trying to get, trying to get the right, you're trying to get the right words, right? Yeah, it's just like I feel like the thing that this immediately makes me think of is one of the chapters in the Screw Tape Letters, which is basically C.S. Lewis writes as a demon trying to advise an imp how to lead people astray. And one of the chapters sort of talked about something called Christianity and, where uh -huh. it's just like, okay, you've got your faith, then it kind of distracts you with this particular pet issue that, well, your particular religion can sort of provide some good arguments for. And then it slowly slips from going providing good arguments for to kind of being the core of your whole particular religion or whatnot. And so suddenly now you've got somebody who says they're doing this thing in the name of God or in the name of this religion, but really it's their own pet issue that's kind of creeped in. I see it a lot with patriotism. I see yep. it a lot with like corporatism and the prosperity gospel. It happens all of the time. It's it just does. like, it, it, encourage all extremes, except all extreme, encourage all extremes, except actual extreme devotion to the enemy. In this case, since it's a demon, it's talking about God or just genuine devotion to a higher spiritual principle, regardless of what you might actually see on what people say about it on earth. Definitely. And I will just say this, back to Dr. Epstein, do you think she really did sit on it just because she wanted her project to be done and that was it? Because she kind of tells, you know, when she tries to tell Thomas, that's not the reason. It's like, it is the reason, lady. Own up to it. Mm-hmm. And she was, I hate to tell you, but she was kind of selfish in her own way. But it's like, but it was for the greater good, a legit greater good. Not a, mm -hmm. you know, a false greater good. But it ended up being, in the end, it meant nothing because it got burnt down. Yeah, it's just like sort of the thing is, are you really concerned with seeking something that's truly good, that's truly going to save you? Or are you so fixated on you saving you or whatever saving you that you aren't willing to consider anything else? Yep. And again, she should have seen this coming. She should have seen that um, Slate was going to burn everything when given a chance. Mm hmm. And yeah, she like, lost her LG and everything. Yep. Uh. And poor, and the polar bear, again, poor Cola. And again, poor Gwen. I feel so sorry for Gwen, don't you? She yeah. Was just, she was just a victim. She really was. It's just like, she was sort of fed like these lies that just like, hey, you can have like this really great purpose or whatnot, but it's just, they only really cared to exploit her in the end. Like a lot of reality shows. That, that's the thing that makes this work most. It was Shungor Murray showing the true downside, more than Truman Show ever did, of reality shows. Mm-hmm. It's just like... Yeah. Yeah. And now I guess it's... Which one do you think was more worse on the individual? Truman Show, where they kept it all secret, beside the occasional slip-up? Or here, where he, the kid knew all along, and a lot of the changes were done more upfront and obvious? I'd say this was a lot worse. Mm-hmm. 
at least with Truman Show, they made sure every bit of his life was still controlled. Like, they wouldn't have the case of, oh, we asked a girl out for the prom, and then it was so obviously where, you know, it pulled away, you know, like, you know, like forced not to do it, and then picked the cheerleading girl to do it. Yeah. So, yeah, overall, what would you rate this? I would give it a 9 out of 10, probably. Definitely. Now, you could definitely, not, now I will say this, once he got to the punk rock stuff, I hate to say it, I think that's where the story, at least from Chris's point of view, kind of derailed a little. Yeah. Not a major, not majorly so, but I didn't really care for the punk rock portions. Mm-hmm, in spite of the fact that it's in the title. It was in the title, but it took so long to get to it. Mm-hmm. And by the time we were there, it was more just a case of Chris just kept on digging himself deeper. That's that's that was the whole point. Mm-hmm. It's just like he had been sort of sensationalized his own whole life, so he didn't know how to be literally anything else. It's just you go from one extreme to the other, and in the end, you didn't really truly find healing from what it was that wounded you. Until that last moment when he's trying to tell, you know, he's trying to tell um, uh, Thomas, you know, like, I was wrong. You were right. Mm -hmm. And even calls out saying, you're lying. So, yeah. So that's it for this lesson. Thank you for joining me for this, Ingrid. I figured you were probably the better one to talk about this. Yep, because it's something that's more within my wheelhouse. Wish Bianca was here. I think you both would have had a lot to talk about. Hmm. But, but I, I, did up, I did end up with her last night um, and all that. But we'll see you all in the next one. Take care. Take care.